friends in this video we will discuss some portion of the conductance hope this video will help you today we will discuss about the variation of conductivity with dilution now what is conductivity conductivity is the conductance of a solution which are enclosed in unit cube conductivity depends upon the number of ions present in unit volume of solution <laughs> Therefore, we can conclude that with dilution, specific conductance decreases. Again, repeat with dilution, that is with increase in dilution, specific conductance decreases. With increase in dilution, specific conductance decreases. With increase in dilution, specific conductance decreases. Now, we have to discuss about the variation of molar conductivity with dilution. So, we know molar conductivity, molar conductivity is the conductance of a solution which contains one molar of electron. Molar conductivity is the conductance of a solution which contains one mole of the electron about the variation of molar conductivity with dilution. Now, we will discuss the variation of molar conductivity with dilution. Molar conductivity is the conducting power of the solution which contains one mole of the electrolyte. Which contains one mole of the electrolyte. And from the equation, if we write the lambda m equal to kappa into V. Where kappa is the conductivity, kappa is the conductivity, and V is the Volume of the solution, volume of solution containing one mole of electrolyte. Containing one mole of electrolyte. Electrolyte. V is the volume of the solution containing one mole of the electrolyte. Is that clear? Where kappa is the conductivity and V is the volume of the solution containing one mole of the with dilution, with dilution, kappa decreases. With dilution, we already discussed that kappa decreases. But V increases. V increases. V increases. Why V increases? That with dilution, volume of the solution increases. So the volume of the solution containing one mole of the electrolyte increases. So we can that we can say that V increases, but kappa decreases with dilution. But it is observed that increase in V, increase in V is much is much more than decrease in K. Decrease in it's much more in decreasing K. So, uh, look, kappa decreases, V increases, but increasing V is much more than decreasing K. So, power lambda A increases with increasing dilution. So, we can say that lambda A 
increases, that is molar conductivity increases with increase in dilution, with increase in dilution, with increase in dilution. Is that clear? Lambda m increases with increase in dilution. Lambda m, that is molar conductivity increases with increase in dilution. Now, just look. When we discuss about the variation of lambda m in dilution, that is molar conductivity of the electrolytic solution in dilution, then uh, electrolytic solution that is the solution which contains some dissolved electrolyte. And this dissolved electrolyte is of two types, that is strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte. Strong electrolyte are the electrolyte where 100% dissociation occurs, where 100% dissociation occurs in the solution, where 100% dissociation occurs in the solution. Here, 100% uh, dissociation of us. Alpha equal to 100%. But in case of weak electrolyte, incomplete dissociation of us. Incomplete dissociation of us. Incomplete dissociation of us. So, variation of lambda m with dilution for strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte would be different way. So, now we have to discuss about the Addition of lambda m with dilution both for strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte. Both for strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte. Now, before going to this discussion, uh, let us consider one constant term that is lambda m0 or lambda m infinity. This is called molar conductivity at infinite dilution. Molar conductivity at infinite dilution. Molar conductivity at Infinite dilution. Infinite dilution. That is concentration tends to zero. It is obvious that with increase in dilution, molar conductivity increases, molar conductivity increases. At infinite dilution, when concentration tends to zero, there is just the maximum value, and uh, that would be the constant for a particular electrolyte, and this is termed as the lambda n zero or lambda n infinity, that is molar conductivity at infinite dilution. We have to uh, take in account, we have to take the account of this uh, definition because for further discussion, it is too much necessary. Strong electrolytes. If we discuss about the molar conductivity with uh, concentration, that is with dilution, then uh, we have to consider the graph, that is lambda a versus root c graph. Molar conductivity versus root c, root over concentration graph, we have to consider for the strong electrolyte. And it is observed that from the equation, lambda n equal to lambda n 0 minus a into root c. a into root c. It is observed that for strong electrolyte, lambda n equal to lambda n 0 minus a into root c. Lambda n equal to lambda n 0 minus a into root c. So, uh, this equation looks like y is equal to minus mx plus t. This is the variable term and this is the variable term. If we draw the graph, if we draw the graph lambda m versus root c, then the graph will look like this. And by the extrapolation of this straight line, they, they got the uh, y axis, that is the maximum value of lambda m, lambda m0. This is called lambda m0 or limiting molar conductivity or molar conductivity at infinite dilution. And its slope would be, slope would be minus a. Slope would be Minus a. It is obvious that with increase in dilution, that is decrease in concentration, lambda m increases gradually. And when c tends to zero, when c tends to zero, there is just a maximum value which is called lambda m zero or molar conductivity at infinite dilution. Now you have to consider what is the cause for this graph. Now the cause before going to the cause, it is uh, it should be also considered that uh, for strong electrolyte, hundred percent dissociation occurs. So there is no chance to increase in the number of ions. There is no chance to increase in the number of ions. But with dilution, with dilution, force of attraction, force of interionic attraction, interionic attraction decreases. And this is the cause. This is the cause for the increase in molar conductivity with dilution. 
This is the cause for increase in molar conductivity with dilution. Is that clear? Hope you will understand this. Type of glass. Let uh, discuss about the variation of molar conductivity with dilution for B kilo, right? And they get into the account of the graph for lambda n versus root c graph for B kilo, right? In case of B kilo, right? If we draw the graph, then the graph will look like this. Then the graph will be like this. That is at a higher concentration. That is at higher concentration, molar conductivity value is very low because the degree of dissociation is too much low at high concentration. Degree of dissociation is too much low at high concentration. But with increasing dilution, degree of dissociation increases, so molar conductivity increases gradually. And after certain point, this increase is very rapid. So, an infinite dilution. Molar conductivity, limiting molar conductivity cannot be determined from this graph. The, we, in case of weak electrolyte, also molar conductivity increases with dilution, but this increase is very rapid. This increase is very rapid. At higher concentration, limit molar conductivity value is very low, low, but with dilution, degree of dissipation increases. We have uh, already learned in the class 11 according to Oswald's dilution law. Uh, or degree of light uh, with concentration, degree in concentration or of dilution, degree of precision increases. So, number of ions in the solution increases, number of ions in the solution increases, so molar conductivity also increases. So, and with dilution, this degree of precision increases in a rapid manner, so number of ions increases in the solution in a rapid manner, so uh, molar conductivity also increases in the rapid manner. But from this graph, we cannot determine. The limiting molar conductivity, that is molar conductivity at infinite dilution or weak electrolyte. And it is obvious that the cause, if we summarize the cause with dilution, with dilution, degree of dissociation, that is alpha, increases. So, number of ions, number of ions increases, and that is the cause. That result as a result lambda m increases with dilution. Increases with dilution. Lambda f increases with dilution. Is that clear? This is the uh, discussion about the addition of molar conductivity with concentration for B electrolyte, and this is the cause. And from this graph, it is obvious that lambda m0 or lambda m infinity cannot be determined, cannot be determined from the graph, cannot be determined from the graph, cannot be determined from the 